Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new uh, care card to review. We're taking a look at a card who is six foot one, medium, medium work rates, right footed, three star skills with a five star weak foot. Uh, in game player traits, he has none. In game attributes, the card is going to be working with some pretty decent pace. So if we take a look at this card in game, he is actually going to be uh, a lengthy player if you were to give him an anchor chemistry style, right? Or you make him a controlled player and you give him the shadow chemistry style, right? To be honest with you guys, in this game nowadays, you're not necessarily wrong if you do either or. What we are going to be doing is that we are initially going to be using him on the anchor chemistry style, and then we're going to be switching to the shadow uh, to kind of see what his defensive capabilities are like, right? So uh, with shooting, the card is obviously not going to be in a great area. Passing on the card is going to be in a decent area with 86 short passing, 80 for long passing. Dribbling has been massively increased for this card, which is definitely a huge plus because he is six foot one with a high and average plus body type right so uh, all of that's definitely a welcome change for this card in regards to all the defensive capabilities that he put he could potentially have uh defensive stats whether you give him the anchor or the shadow uh will be in a good position which is definitely a w and then obviously for physical capabilities for base card stats that's also set up in a good area too so whether or not you give him the shadow chemistry style or the anchor chemistry style the card looks pretty decent right so uh, again we will be trying him out on both to kind of see how uh the card performs in game so what's good for us is that we are trying out this new three back formation which three back is usually not super ideal after the patch but if it's a formation you like to use then obviously use it but we'll be using him in that center back position right so he has the medium medium work rates in that center back area and he doesn't have any instructions on him right so he'll just be on stay back while attacking when it comes to the defensive capabilities so yeah we'll see how he plays in game hopefully he is a beast Legron switch Well done. All AI there too. He doesn't know who taught that free kick tactic to the community. He doesn't know, guys. Should be able to get that. Oh, great mechanics, EA. Yep. Should be able to get it, but he heads the air. Fantastic stuff. I love these mechanics. A week for the pass. At initial acceleration, there was a little bit rough with him to kind of kind of get into the position. Thank you, care. Well done. Nah, he gets he gets dusted there though. He does he does get dusted there. Nothing there. Oh, pressure there. Nothing as well. And everybody's on side. Nice Good job, boys. Like that real quick. Well done. Okay, doesn't do anything there either. Unlucky. Oh my goodness. Oh, that would have been... Yeah.
<sighs> His initial acceleration, that's really annoying to work with. Well, at least he gets to that. Very emphasized, though, just to do the animation to block, but... Nice. Well, at least he gets a pass off there. Should have registered earlier, EA, but we move. Emphasize there as well. I gotta be daring. Uh, you gotta be careful with those ones. Oh, you better get to that. I'll, I'll take a, I'll take a foul. I'll take it. You have to play like very conservative defense if you play with a card like this in your team, because that initial movement to go into spaces, it's not the craziest, and that's like always the most important movement. Oh, look at the running. It's too slow, man. Thank you. Gotta be conservative, man. If it's open space defending, no chance. Oh, the emphasis backwards. No, no. Thank you. Oh, just give me possession, EA, please. These kickoffs, man. And he still pushes it away. That was a foul, apparently. I didn't even do anything, but it was a foul. One of those ones, you know? Think you care? Yeah, you better get to that. I don't know if you noticed, but I was using him and I was like, nah, if I have to switch to him to accelerate backwards, I will literally concede 100%. Thank you. Thank you, Care. No! Did he just R did he just go through his legs because I'm pressing R1 to 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 double man? Did he just press R1 to let it go through his legs? What kind of command is that? Better get that challenge with your height. Where is Kara going? Like that situation there, he doesn't have to track after the runner to keep people on side. He gets the ball there. Make it work, make it work. Be more conservative. Use the height a little bit. Oh, come on. Just get the ball, please. Not possession base again, but he does get the challenge. So it's funny, uh, it didn't let me switch there uh, to one Basaka. But you could even see that when I was just running with Kara, like, <laughs> that pace ain't it, bro. I'll tell you this right now. Okay, guys, so final verdict on the new Kara card. So uh, to be honest with you, he deserves to be 20k. Here's the thing, guys, okay, with this uh, with this card. So you're not going to have a problem with him if you play more conservative defending. I like to actually feel like I'm playing the game, though. You know what I'm saying? And uh, when you feel like you actually want to play the game, you're going to do a lot of manual things. Uh, with a card like this, if you're not playing conservative defending and he's caught out of position, when it comes to the chase after animation, good luck with this guy, okay? Because him being six foot one uh, at a high and average plus body type, even when I gave him the shadow chemistry style, that manual run to chase after is not necessarily the craziest. Now, 
That's the only thing that isn't the craziest on the card. Again, I don't think he's super special defensively either, right? But the card is also 20k on the market, and it kind of makes sense that he is, to be honest with you, okay? If you give this card the Shadow Chemistry style, you boost the acceleration, you boost the sprint speed, your tactics are kind of more conservative, which, let's be real, a, lot of the, a large majority of the community is, because this game is very park the bus oriented for the most part. The card will be okay to use, okay? I try to use him on the anchor and on the shadow. When I was on the anchor, I was like, right away, I was like, I need him, I need him to be on a pace boost. Like, right away, I was like, this lengthy stuff, in no go, my friend, okay? Lengthy would be fine for the extra physical stats. Like I said, if you play more conservative defending, okay? The dribbling on this card, when it comes to the on-the-ball movement, it's the high and average plus parts as a center back that kind of just makes him feel slower in game when it comes to defending certain opportunities. The weak foot's definitely a really welcome thing to have on the card for sure, but it, it, it just didn't really feel like a card that had too many crazy defensive animations. I like the price of the card being at 20k, giving you German links that play for the Premier League, right? But you really do have to use different types of tactics to be able to utilize a card like this because against the meta of through ball law pass, he kind of gets dusted sometimes, right? The long distance runs will be a little bit better, but it's that body type that he has that kind of slows him down in those certain situations, right? So obviously it's still a decent defender. The price is still uh, not bad whatsoever. Is it a card that I'd probably ever use in the future again, unless I were to actually pack as a first owner? Uh, for me personally, not necessarily, but obviously if he was Portuguese, he's going right into the team, right? But yeah, you know, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Like uh, <laughs> I could just go to a rare gold Varan card, like this card still has the right defensive animations. Like he has the right FIFA stuff. Doesn't even have physical stats on the card and he still defends pretty well uh, for the most part, even on a lengthy. Like he gets dusted sometimes, but he just has like better defensive animations. You know, like his defensive animations is like significantly better. But Varan is also not, uh, he's also not uh, German that plays for West Ham. So those links uh, kind of causes like a big, uh, big difference on the cards. But yeah, for me personally, you know, if Varane ever gets a card in the future, he's definitely going to be a monster because he has the, the defensive animations are just fantastic. Um, like I said, the only thing that he gets dusted in is pace sometimes, you know, but uh, yeah, I wasn't too impressed with this card personally. But uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.